Terminator 7 must chart a fresh course for the saga, and Arnold Schwarzenegger must uphold his commitment to the franchise's future. The challenge facing Terminator 7 mirrors that of the Alien franchise, both shaped significantly by the influence of James Cameron. Cameron's exceptional success with the second installment in both series has set an exceptionally high standard, making it exceedingly difficult for subsequent filmmakers to measure up. The Terminator series has struggled, especially after the success of the second film. The third installment gained popularity but veered too much into silliness, and the recent release, Dark Fate, failed at the box office. The trajectory of the series remains uncertain at this point. Plans for a sequel to Dark Fate were quickly abandoned, and aside from an upcoming anime show on Netflix, there are no concrete developments for Terminator 7. The failures of both Genesis and Dark Fate have underscored the need for a complete overhaul of the franchise's classic formula and its intricate time travel mythology. While Terminator Dark Fate received mixed reviews from critics, with a 70% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and 54% on Metacritic, it found greater favor among viewers, with an 81% approval. Despite the divided critical reception, many appreciated the film for what it brought to the Terminator franchise. One reason for its positive reception could be attributed to its ability to strike a delicate balance between paying homage to the original material, serving as a reboot, and offering a fresh reimagination. The movie managed to maintain a solid pace, ranging from good to pretty darn good, and featured impressive action sequences that resonated with audiences. A notable departure from previous Terminator films was the decision to move away from the John Connor character. Dark Fate opted to take a bold step by sidelining John Connor after T3, recognizing that the character had become more of a hindrance than a dynamic part of the series. In T3, John Connor was perceived as unlikable, in Salvation as an action-oriented but uninspired presence, and in Genesis as an unsatisfying surprise villain. Dark Fate's choice to distance itself from John Connor may have contributed to a more refreshing and engaging storyline for the audience. Hey, let me break it down for you. So Danny in Dark Fate is kind of stuck in one mode, not much change happening there, but hey, at least she's not as helpless as JC in T3, that's a win. Now let's talk about the lively crew, Grace, Carl, and Sarah. Carl's got this interesting vibe from the past Terminator movies, you know? Sarah, though, hasn't been touched since T2, and Linda Hamilton totally owns it in her comeback. Strong, assertive, and brings the feels. Grace keeps it simple, being the newbie in the Terminator world. Props to Mackenzie Davis for holding her own against Arnold and Linda. Not an easy feat. The cool part for me? They ditched the whole Skynet drama for Legion, which is basically Skynet's cousin. A little change can do wonders. Even though Legion is basically a rebranded Skynet, it allows the creators to ditch all the baggage tied to John Connor and Skynet. It's like giving the Terminator series a fresh start. I also like the sometimes awkward social commentary. Having three strong female leads and poking fun at the whole chosen one being male trope were bold moves. Sure, there were moments that felt a bit forced, like the detainees versus prisoners thing, but I get where they were coming from. All in all, considering the series' storytelling history, evolving social landscape, and the hiccups in T3, Salvation, and Genesis, I found the movie pretty darn satisfying. Let's face it, Terminator 7 should give Arnold Schwarzenegger a break. In a chat with IndieWire in 2023, Arnie himself spilled the beans that he's hanging up his Terminator boots. No surprise there, but he mentioned the lukewarm reception to his last two movies made it clear people want to move on from his era. According to him, the franchise needs a fresh start, saying, The franchise is not done, I'm done. So, if Terminator wants to keep rocking on the big screen, it's time for a clean break. While Schwarzenegger wasn't the primary concern in the recent Terminator installments, the franchise heavily relied on nostalgia by repeatedly featuring the T-800. Arnold acknowledges the necessity for the series to undergo change and break away from its past. Consequently, he has decided against reprising his iconic role, prompting the complex question of the direction the next installment will take. Arnold's decision not to return for Terminator 7 could be a positive development. After appearing in five films, the T-800 character has undergone various arcs, from being a villain to a hero, fighting against himself, and even successfully killing John Connor. By not bringing back Arnie, the movie suggests a departure from familiar territory, signaling to viewers that the franchise is embarking on a new and fresh narrative. James Cameron's focus on developing a Terminator 7 script centered around AI adds an intriguing element. 
and the prospect of exploring artificial intelligence is inherently more captivating than another installment tied to the legacy of previous sequels. A clean slate appears to be exactly what the next film needs. Despite James Cameron not taking on the directorial role for the upcoming Terminator film, many fans believe that his involvement, even in a different capacity, could significantly benefit the franchise and potentially restore it to its former glory. Cameron's deep understanding of the Terminator universe is unparalleled, making his contribution highly valued by enthusiasts. One notable challenge Cameron will encounter in writing The Terminator is the decision on who will assume the central role in the franchise. Arnold Schwarzenegger has long been the iconic face of the Terminator series, but following the disappointment of Dark Fate and Schwarzenegger's declaration of permanently stepping away from the franchise, identifying a suitable replacement becomes a crucial hurdle for Terminator 7. The absence of Schwarzenegger's involvement may pose considerable challenges for the film's success. The director has acknowledged potential challenges in crafting the storylines for the film, expressing a desire to shift the focus from the familiar theme of cyborgs and rogue robots to a more central exploration of artificial intelligence. This creative direction might pose difficulties for the filmmaking process, especially considering the rapid evolution of technology. Staying ahead in conceptualizing and integrating cutting-edge advancements in AI into the narrative may present a despite the potential challenges and changes in the creative direction of Terminator 7, the franchise continues to possess a strong appeal among fans. The Terminator brand's influence extends beyond the film industry, with various merchandise featuring the iconic movie brand. Additionally, the themes of the film series have been widely embraced across different entertainment mediums, including TV shows, books, video games, and even slot games in platforms like the 32 Red Mobile Casino, attracting a global audience. The enduring popularity of the Terminator franchise suggests that despite the uncertainties surrounding the upcoming installment, it still holds significant allure for fans across diverse platforms and industries. Despite the perception that the Terminator series may have encountered a downturn and some argue that it should be left untouched, the involvement of James Cameron is likely to generate considerable interest and draw many viewers when the film is eventually released. Cameron has a track record of creating cinematic classics and box office hits exemplified by his massive successes with Titanic and the Avatar series. His past accomplishments suggest a golden touch when it comes to filmmaking. If he can apply a winning formula similar to his previous works, there's a significant possibility that Terminator 7 could surpass the disappointment of the last release and potentially reinvigorate the franchise. Cameron's involvement brings a level of anticipation and optimism among fans, relying on his proven ability to deliver successful and impactful films. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you at the next one.